I recently installed a trailer hitch on the back of the Jeep so I can mount my dirt bike carrier. But I recently sold that dirt bike and upgraded to a, to a four-wheeler. So now I want to be able to connect a trailer to the back of the Jeep to turn the four-wheeler. When I installed the hitch, since I was going to be mounting just a dirt bike carrier, I didn't install a wire harness to connect the trailer. So in this video, I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to connect the wiring. So there's a couple different ways that you can go about this. You can purchase just the trailer connector along with the wires, and you can splice into your existing wiring. There's a couple different ways that you can splice into your existing wiring on the Jeep. First being, you can use these three-way splice connectors. So how this works is allows one wire to pass all the way through and the other wire kind of butts in to one end and then once they're in there you squeeze down on this metal piece right there and that makes the connection between the wires and you flip this closed and it locks it into place. This is probably the easiest way if you're going to be wiring in your own harness but the drawback to these is that it's not waterproof. So the next way that you can make your connections is you can solder the wires in and use shrink tube over the connections to provide more water resistance. You have shrink tube that comes in all sizes and colors. A third option, and this is the option that I chose, is I purchased a wiring harness that plugs right up. I don't have to do any cutting or splicing or soldering or anything like that. I just unplug the connections behind the tail lights in the Jeep and plug in the harness. This is the harness that I purchased. I picked this up on Amazon, it was 24 bucks. I think this is really worth it. All the connectors are waterproof. So you don't have to worry about corrosion over time. Some zip ties included in the package. So these are the connections that will go between your taillight connectors. So basically you're going to unplug what's behind the taillight, plug this in the one end and that into the other end and you do it on both sides. Then you run this wire or this, this wiring connector out to the hitch and it has cover on there so you don't get any corrosion in there. remove your rubber covers that are here unfortunately my Jeep doesn't have them that's just the way that it came they were already removed and once you remove those rubber covers on both sides it's gonna allow you access to the plug for the tail lights you can go ahead and unclip these plugs that laid that laid out now you just want to decide exactly where you want the wires to sit so I've decided to run mine inside this you see there's little openings here and there I can have the wires come out either one of those
I'm just gonna clean up these wires, use some zip ties. Next step is to connect this ground wire to find a, gra a suitable grounding location. I am going to mount mine right here. Now I'll clean up these wires and use a zip tie. So I don't have a trailer to connect to test this, so I'm gonna use my voltmeter. there so see it had an issue with the brake lights not coming on and I ruled out that being a problem with the wiring harness. I have some other issue that I didn't even know that I had so I'm really happy that I installed this harness because I found out that my brake lights weren't working. So now I need to figure out what's going on with the brake lights and I will post another video on how I troubleshoot that. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the content that I'm providing, please subscribe. And if you don't like the content that I'm providing, then please let me know things that I can do better in the comments.